Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jalen with Johnson Trailer Parts. Today we're going to go over uh, the seven way junction boxes with the seven way cord and basically the color coordinating with them. We do get quite a bit of questions on this as on the trailer side of things, a lot of times the wiring does not necessarily match up. So I'll grab a junction box and I'll break down what each post within that junction box, what its function is, and we'll go from there. All right, so seven way junction box with a seven way pigtail cord. So your standard seven way you'll get is typically gonna be what they call RV standard. Um, there are some out there that are SAE standard. For the, fo for the most part, we'll be going over RV standard power cord. I will leave a link in the description below to our blog post that goes over the difference between uh, RV and SAE. Really the main difference is the color of the wiring. So like in the seven way plug here, the, you know, be, between a SAE and RV, each point d does the same function. They just have different color coding. So when you get your seven way junction box and you open it up, you're obviously gonna have your seven posts and they're gonna be color coordinated. So to give you an idea what each color does, so we'd be looking at here, uh, the first wire here is a white post, white wire. Now keep in mind, some of these junction boxes that you do buy online aren't gonna have uh, colors on the stud. These ones here have a paint dab on each end of the stud showing what color it is. So we'll start here. So your first one, white. So the white wire that comes from the plug goes to this post here. This is gonna be ground. The next one is gonna be black. This is gonna be 12 volt hot. Yellow is gonna be reverse lights. Red is left turn. Green is your tail marker running lights. Brown is right turn. And blue is gonna be for your brake controller if you have electric brakes. So with that being said, when you go to wire your tail lights and your marker lights and everything, a lot of times you're wiring, you'll have different colors. Sometimes you might only have black and white. <clears throat> so if you have a, let's say a marker light where it's just black and white wiring, the white is gonna be ground and then the black is gonna be your tail marker running light, which would wire to the green post. So when you turn your lights on in your truck, or if you have automatic headlights or lights on your vehicle, the trailer lights would come on. Now some people will wire them to the 12 volt hot, but if I'm not mistaken, what'll happen is even with your truck shut off, as long as you're plugged in, your trailer's plugged in, your marker lights will stay on on your trailer, which can drain your truck battery. So you don't wanna do that. So another thing to discuss is on your truck or your tow vehicle, you'll have a seven-way plug. Now these seven-way plugs, a lot of times the color coordinating from the vehicle, I've seen them where every wire is black coming from the vehicle. So it can make that difficult. You'll need to check with your vehicle, you know, sk wiring schematics on which wire does what for the junction box. But the way, the way it would work, on an RV style plug, your top left uh, post here would be your tail running lights, which is the green wire. The top right is going to be black, which would be 12 volt power. The center will be yellow, which is reverse. The middle right 
would be right turn, brake. The middle left would be left turn, brake, which is red. The bottom left would be white, which is ground. And the bottom right would be blue, which is brake control. Now again, I'll leave it in the description, a blog post that has all the pictures and diagrams on what all this is.